dog, right? Yeah. No. This little bush got a big flower on it. Carpenteria, number six. Tree anemone. How big do those get? Um, remember the ones we saw in the field trip? The, the bushes that were like six or seven feet tall? They weren't blooming. They had buds all over them, but they weren't blooming. The only ones we saw blooming, we saw them on the garden down by the dam. They had like maybe one flower on them at that time. And this is the one we used to have in the garden out here. And then somebody thought it was a weed when the flowers dropped off and pulled out. We have a lot of, a lot of problems with uh, gardeners and fixing things for us. So anyway, what, uh, what did I tell you about this and was the interesting factoid about this? Is it an endangered species? It's got a restricted distribution. Right? Restricted. Where is it found only? Fresno. Well, I was told Fresno, Missouri County. But yeah. yeah, basically it's between the King, King <coughs> and San Joaquin River. And then there's, there's a, a new population that's starting up in the Bay Area someplace that they show on the map. I don't know what that is. I think that's probably a planting population. And it's also an Ice Age relic, like the Buckeye is. So it just got left behind there after the climate change. And it didn't really do much modification. It just grows near bodies of water, or like little cascades and gullies and places like that. There's a flower. The leaves kind of look drought flower. crazy, you can dig the root up and, and squeeze a whole bunch of water out of it. But like I said, you're going to lose an awful lot of sweat in the depth in the of summer. Common name? Manzanita. Genus. Arctostaphylos number three. about those, those little light texts on the bug. Is that art? I did it by accident. I didn't mean to do it. I just wondered if you guys thought that made it more artistic or made it look worse. I have no opinion whatsoever. I like it. You like it? Yes. Okay. Extra points for you. <laughs> uh, number? Oh, there was no. It's common name only. And that was a fairy lantern. Fairy lantern. This one right side up. Dizzy or mountain misery. <coughs> What's the sort of thing about its leaf that's kind of interesting? This is for a botanist. It's super compound. Yeah, triply pinately compound. <laughs> it's 
super <coughs> tiny nucleus. Triple pinnately compounds? Uh huh. Or tri pinnately compounds? Or you want to say that? How many with the bush? 30. 35. Yeah. Bush lupin. And the scientific name is? Lupina Salmonella. I'm going to stop there for 15 minutes. It's number 22. Lupina Salmonella. And that's going to have a pale white leaf. Kind of a silvery, uh, silvery looking leaf. Silver leaf net. Silver leaf is another name of it. And it's one side is kind of gray, and the other side of the leaf is much, much silk, more silvery. That's upside down completely there. So what do you think this one is? Kind of sticky, have an interesting odor. Your Visanta. Or Aerodictyon California, number 17. You know, funny that was. No. Sata's called an A at the end of the A. Okay. No, 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 I told you guys about the mech guy and his dog, right? Oh, yeah. That was your response? Yeah. Tested it out on his mother-in-law, so he didn't have to definitely poison his dog. That's what I asked him. It worked. Same thing, just in bright sunlight. With this, it's really easy to tell. The leaves look crinkly. And unlike this one, you can see the little resonant sticky stuff on it. He's married at least look frankly. That's the one that's everywhere right now. Yep. My old friend Sam Buthis. AKA Elderberry. And so what can you do with this plant is a very useful plant. Like what parts can you eat? Berries? Eat the berries? At least of the blueberry. There's one kind that's kind of poisonous, but um, and you can eat the flowers, and you can make flutes and arrows out of the stems. If you're um, living in a fictitious world, you can make uh, unbeatable wands out of it. Spring when the leaves come out, they look like this. So like a 
got kind of color pattern backwards. Instead of turning red in the fall, they are red in the spring, and then they turn green. And in the fall, I think they just turn brown and fall off. So the number on that one was 45. This is another interior light bulb. And that's blue oak leaves there. Right? Like that's multiple blue oak leaves. Okay, this one we already saw, right? Valley oak. You did see Valley oak already, right? Yeah. Awesome. We did, maybe we did. So this is Valley oak, Corpus Lobata, number 46. And this is that. This is a much, much photographed, much photographed tree, at least by me, out there in Lost Lake. A nice big tree. There's the leaves are. Rounded tips. What pine tree is that? Bigger? Bigger pine, foothill pine, pine of Sabiniata. Number 37. It has a couple names. Gray pine, one of them? Gray pine, foothill pine, gold pine, bigger pine. Needles upside down. They're just really happy. That's what they look like after you crash your car. Needles in groups of three, really pretty long, kind of gray green. What about those cones on that one? Kind of cones on those. Are those st stamina cones or polyvalent cones? Stamina? Stamina, yeah. Those are the male cones, pollen cones. There's the upside down female cone, ovulate cone. 